Hi, my name is Kylie Boomquist. I am from Harriman High School, and I am competing in the Exploring non, Non-Core non Subject Teaching Careers. Um, my presentation is on becoming a psychology teacher because that is what I want to do and why this could be beneficial to the teacher and the students. So first I have, what is teaching about? I say, specifically for non-core subject teachers, teaching is about enlightening others. Those who teach math and English usually teach because those are things that they know and they are good at them. People who teach non-core subjects teach because they love it and they love to see students become aware of something they might not have realized was important before and they might not have gone into the class knowing exactly what that subject was. Why become a teacher? As I was job shadowing and interviewing my teacher, I've kept this question in the back of my mind the whole time. Just the question of why would someone want to become a teacher? And an answer that sums up the reasons I noticed is becoming a teacher to contribute to society. So whether that's trying to help your students improve or helping a system that you think is flawed, most teachers find great success in helping and improving those around them. When do students need non-core classes? They need them all the time. Students need non-core classes to balance out the core classes they are taking. I know personally, after a day of going to English and math and science, I love walking into my psychology classroom where we get to have real life discussions and talk about real people. Um, I think as a non-core teacher, it's a good to try and teach your students in a way that doesn't feel like learning to them, like using real life examples. So my psychology teacher would teach us about a foreign subject, which was neurons, and she would use a toilet to explain that so we could connect it to something we know a lot about. Behind the scenes of being a teacher. So these are the things that teachers do that students and parents might not see. The first one, I think, is grading our assignments. So while I was job shadowing, I was able to grade some stuff for my teacher, and I can see how that could take up a lot of time. Just grading the few things that I did, you could see how it impacted the teacher and lifted weight off of her shoulders, and along with grading all these assignments, they have to update the grades in Skyward and answer all of these emails they receive, receive from students with questions. Next is lesson planning. Especially as a non-core subject teacher, it is common to teach multiple versions of your subject. For example, psychology, you could teach normal psychology class, a sports psychology class, and an AP psychology class, which means you would have to plan multiple lessons for all of these different classes. And then with COVID, teachers have spent extra time adding lessons and assignments to online courses like we are using Canvas this year. Next, I have had to learn that, believe it or not, teachers do actually have a life outside of school. So sometimes students forget that just as much as we like to forget about school when we go home, so do their teachers. So as a student, I can work on being more considerate of my teacher's free time. Next, we have what problems can teachers run into and how can they help fix them? So the first one, I think, is students losing motivation Um, to do their assignments when school gets tough and the work piles up. One thing the teacher I interviewed suggested to me was to continue to focus on your students actually learning and not just checking their grade books in the, or checking their boxes in the grade book. That way students are more passionate in what they are learning about and you will be more engaged in the way you teach it. Change is an easy one to talk about this year because the teachers of 2020 and 2021 have had to make more changes than we ever thought they could. Sometimes things come along that we can't control and they are unpleasant, but as a teacher, you have to be adaptable. So with COVID, teachers have found ways to move their classes online and still provide a quality education. Being a teacher, you also need to realize that not everybody's going to like you and you may get criticized by other teachers or your students and you can use that as motivation that if they hold, if they tell you something they don't like and it isn't true, don't spend your time on it. Just move on and it can help you use that to better yourself. Teaching overall. So overall, I think teaching is a much harder job than people give it credit for. 
Not only is seven to eight hours spent on your job teaching, additional hours are spent at home grading, lesson planning, and answering emails. As a student, I can definitely be more respectful to teachers, especially our non-core subject teachers. These are the ones that bring something interesting to our classroom after hours of learning algebra equations. <laughs> and wanting to be one of these teachers, I can strive to make these students' lives better and more exciting. There's my presentation. Thank you for listening.